We're welcoming Rick Weissman. He's the CEO and president of High Falls Extracts, LLC. Welcome, Rick. Welcome, Hi, how are Rick. You? Oh, we're talking about hemp oil. Okay, so why did you decide to step into a now million dollar industry, Rick? Uh, well, it's more than a million, but... Oh, well, tell us the number, Rick. You're the expert. <laughs> Zillion dollar industry. Well, no, there's projections uh, that it's... A, well, there's, it's said that it's about a half a billion now and projected to go... It's continuing seen, to grow. I've seen quotes ranging from a few billion to 20 billion in the next few years. Wow. Um, but uh, arguably, um, this is... Um, hemp and hemp-derived CBD is nature's medicine. It uh, was suppressed for decades... Um, with the ban on marijuana, but arguably hemp is not um, psychoactive. It doesn't mm -hmm. get you high, but it has lots of wellness benefits. And uh, we're um, on a mission to bring that medicine uh, to the public. Uh, we're growing hemp in upstate New York, two hours north of here. We're licensed from the state of New York to do so. So it's all above board. And uh, we uh, launched a marketing company in June um, which is uh, selling uh, hemp-derived CBD products. So I was with some friends in San Francisco <coughs> last week who are way cooler than me, <laughs> and they took me to this bar and ordered me a drink, and they're like, we don't serve alcohol. This is a CBD bar. So there are now bars in San Francisco that serve CBD drinks. And I've, of As course, had CBD coffee, but I've never had a CBD cocktail. <laughs> and I'll tell you, I felt pretty relaxed, Rick. Uh, CBD, um, it's remarkable what it does, and it's remarkable that this is something that is literally solving all sorts of health and wellness issues, and uh, our government and the establishment back in the 30s pretty much banned it from, ex from our um, environment, our, from our country, mm. uh, for the last eight decades. Talk to us more about regulatory issues or challenges, if there are any. Well, I mean, we're not marijuana, even though the plant looks just like marijuana. Mm -hmm. um, it's regulated by the state, but the, it's the Department of Agriculture and Markets that's really out there to see it proliferate as opposed to a lot of the regulatory issues that pertain to uh, marijuana, especially on the East Coast, where the government is very tight about issuing licenses. Mm -hmm. So just to be completely clear, you are not... Uh, selling things with that with THC, the active ingredient that makes people high, correct? There's a trace amount in there because it comes with the genetics of the plant, but arguably we have to be less than 0.3% THC, so no one's getting high from our stuff, but technically there's a trace amount in there. Wow. wow. And, and, mm. and what are some of the therapeutic uses? So um, what we've uh, seen and what we've observed firsthand is that uh, it works very well for uh, anti-anxiety, sleep. Calming. It's, it's a, it is a calming agent. Mm -hmm. uh, it's anti-inflammatory. It helps out with uh, various stomach issues like as such as Crohn's disease or irritable bowel syndrome. So a lot of chronic conditions that really don't have an easy treatment. A lot of these... No, you're right, they don't. And remarkably, uh, hemp extracts and CBD seem to solve a lot of issues. Interesting. Okay, let's talk about the Cannabis World Congress and Business Exposition in New York City, here wow, in New York City. Wow, you guys Tell are having your own that. extravaganza yeah, here in the city. <laughs> uh, well, so last year at the event that was on May 31st to June 2nd was our official launch okay. for our marketing company, and we were a uh, exhibitor there. And we're uh, lined up to be an exhibitor this year as well. When is it happening? Um, it is happening in May. I don't, and I, to be, I'm sorry, I don't have the exact date. But May, okay, so it's coming up. <laughs> I mean, that's a huge, that's a huge deal. I mean, what is that experience like when you're at a expo per se, and you want to stand out among the competitors, if you know, in that space? Um, the 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 event is pretty much it's an expo floor, and people walk around. And so, really, you, we, we have a very um, nice, um, appealing um, uh, Sampling? Uh, we do. <laughs> well, 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 actually, well, you know, uh, that's actually pretty accurate. We, we do events um, all throughout the year, and it's a way for us to reach out to the public. Uh, we do give out samples. A lot of people approach us. They've never tried CBD before, but mm -hmm. they've heard about it. And... Um, We've had just some amazing experiences where people show up and they say, I have trouble sleeping or I have inflammation. And these are things that they've been carrying around for 
months or years. And within a matter of minutes, these issues will melt away. It's truly um, transformative for mm -hmm. um, a certain portion of the uh, uh, people that actually I come to our, our booth. So we have an audience question. Evidently, they're channeling my brain because this was exactly my question. <laughs> Do you think the price of CBD will go down? It's pretty expensive right now. Uh, I do believe it will go down in our financial forecasts and models. We do have the price dropping, although the interesting thing is I would have thought that we would have seen it following the 2018 harvest and the uh, word um, in the hemisphere, if you may, hemisphere. <laughs> um, is that the uh, demand is actually increasing to meet the supply. So supply is going up dramatically, but so is demand, mm -hmm. and there is you know, talk from some of these really large companies that can potentially, you know, consume a whole bunch of CBD like Coca-Cola. They came out with an announcement in September saying they are uh, looking into uh, making wow. uh, CBD-infused yeah. drinks. My oh my, have the times changed. But to, answer, to get back to your question, um, you know, supply is dramatically increasing, but it uh, seems like demand is, and that may or may not help the price drop. Interesting insights about hemp oil, CBD. Rick, thank you so much for joining us.